Hey guys, this is Q by Lunacy Audio. Let's get started. Right, so we have a cube and each of the corners is loaded with a sample. So we have up to eight different samples. And then we have this orbiter that just moves around inside the cube. So let's go through the user interface and then listen to a lot of the sounds. So this is the main page and you can see the cube, you can see Whenever this orbiter goes very near to any of the corners, it will be uh, just uh, lit up. And so it will sound brighter and, and just stronger. We also have ether control, which is the intensity. It is, by the way, controlled also by the mod wheel, or if you have an MPE, by the pressure. Right, and we have a global macro control and a filter. And on the bottom, we have the orbit motion. If I'm gonna just turn it off for a moment, you'll see that we have this orbiter just uh, standing still and we can use uh, our mouse and move it around. If you want to drag it towards you, use shift up and down and you can just go closer to any of the corners and let's turn on the orbit motion and we can also use this without the division just go slower or faster So that's the main page, but we want to go deeper, right? So let's start with the sounds. Here you can load different sounds to the corners. And we have two views or two pages here. So we have the overview. This is what we see right now, but we can go inside each of those corners. Let's go with D. And here we can see the sample that is loaded, the forge hammer, and we can actually replace that one. I can select anything else. Right, and let's go back to our overview. And again, for each of those samples, we have a few controls. Uh, for example, uh, the volume, we can solo. We can even uh, reverse the sample. Now, remember, when you're reversing a sample, it's best to go inside and set the start point. All right, I'm going to hit this and go back. And in this view, when we are in the sample here, we can turn on the envelope, get a bit of release. And we also have tone and other adjustments like panning and tuning, but that's not all. What we can do is tweak. And here we have a lot more control. For example, we have the stereo widths, we have the key ranges for this particular sound, and we also have the arpeggiator steps here with presets, so I can click this and get something interesting going. Now, if you don't like the sound, no problem. Again, click this title here. Let's find something else. Right, and going back to our overview, and we can unsolo.
and going back to our main view. So now before we continue, if you have any questions or anything at all, leave comments below this video. I'll be happy to answer. And I want to leave enough time for demo of the sound. So I'm going to show you a few more things. And if you want to go deeper, just let me know and we'll do a live stream or a follow-up video to uh, just create sounds from scratch. And so now let's have a listen to some sounds. And I have the factory presets and we also have expansions. Expansions can be purchased separately. And what I have here is Air, Rumble and Threads. Rumble is the latest one. So let's have a listen. This is very unique. So it's uh, kind of bassy and uh, very deep sounds. So one of the key elements in Cube is the orbits. And here we can set the motion of the orbiter inside our cube. And we have this on the right here. So there are a lot of patterns pre-made uh, for you. And you can just select those. And for each one, you can set the intensity. And as you go from zero, which is right in the center, to 100%, you will get closer to the edges of the cube. We also have offset to just set the, the starting point of our orbiter. And we have the rotation here just to adjust um, where our uh, path is uh, inside our cube. So it's very, very interesting. And you can actually use the uh, modulations and macros to tweak that uh, as you go. So we can try some other patterns. And you can create your own orbit. So right now I have two steps going from A into the center here. I can just go and select another position. And you can use the shift to go inside and back into you. Right, and we call it Udi123. And that's the idea behind the orbit. And next we have the modulation. So this is very cool stuff. We have four different modulators that are either LFO or steppers, uh, which you can use uh, just to modulate pretty much anything. So the way it works is that we go into, for example, the um, orbits. And here on the right corner on the bottom, we have modulators. I'm going to click that and we're going to select LFO1 and just drag that over, for example, the intensity. And when you do that, you have this intensity control for the modulator. And that's how it goes. So now I'm going to just close the modulators. And 
what we are seeing here is that the modulator mode one is controlling our intensity. So I'm going to just do something interesting here. I'm going to go back into a sine wave and let's have this faster, not one bar, but quarter. And let's go back. And we are basically automating our intensity. So that's how it works. But if you go into the modes and click the mode matrix, you will see everything. You'll see all the controls, all the modulation and the sources and their target and how intense they are. So we just created um, LFO1 to control our orbit intensity. That's what we've we've done. But we can also use macro. If you remember the big macro knob on the main page, I can use that one here to set this to one of the targets. So how it works is very simple, very uh, easy to use. I'm going to turn it on and I'm going to select a target. So it can be something on the orbits or maybe uh, a global and we can use this on the ether slider. And I'm going to go all the way and let's go back to our main view. And now you'll see that when I'm using the macro, I'm basically also adjusting the ether. Now, if you want to see how or what exactly the modulators modulate, you click this dot here and select, for example, the macro, and you'll see which controls are being modulated by the macro knob. If you go into uh, LFO1, you'll see what's controlling uh, LFO1 and so on. So it's, it's very, very easy to modulate. And finally, we have our effects. So this is pretty simple. We have the different effects. You can turn them on and off and just use them as you would any uh, effect. And that's in a nutshell cube. So I know we didn't really cover everything but let me know in the comments if you want to see more. I'll be happy to show you how you can tweak things and create your own sounds. And now let's have a listen to more of the presets.